Hi Aquarius, welcome to your spirit guide messages for May. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Aquarius, we are going to take a look at what spirit needs uh, to tell you at this time. So there could be messages of clarity, um, advice, guidance, confirmation, or maybe just things you need to hear right now. But if you feel like some of the messages aren't for you, then please only take the messages that you feel are for you. Um, maybe there may not be any messages for you this time, uh, so please keep that in mind. You can hold out for future readings, or you can check the description box below and find your general and love playlist down there. And under the general, you will find the uh, spirit messages, and maybe something there will resonate past readings. I do consider them timeless, so feel free to go uh, back and watch those if you like to. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, male or female watching. So I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time as best we can. So let's see what we have for Aquarius, what Spirit wants you to know at this time. I will be pulling three oracles from each deck, and then I'll be clarifying the oracles with the tarot. And then I have these prayer cards here, uh, so I'll pull a prayer for you at the end and uh, see what we get for you, Aquarius. Let's see what we have for Aquarius. And also, Aquarius, down below in the description box, there's a lot of stuff down there, decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you like to tip, donate, send a gift, all that good stuff, um, it's below. And if you're new, like my style, how I read, uh, feel free to check out my channel, like what you see. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. And hit the bell, you won't miss out. You get about five readings a month, actually. So if you do, thank you. So what do we have for Aquarius at this time? Spirit. For the general collective this is a general collective reading not a private reading so for Aquarius what do they need to know at this time oh there's one already so I will be pulling all three first from each three from each so you can leave me I guess these two uh, a comment and if you rather have me pull them off camera and then just come on with the cards already pulled I can do that but I prefer to pull them on camera so that you know, everybody could see that nothing is staged here. That's not how I work anyway. But um, so I just ask you to be patient with the shuffling. You know, it is tarot, it is cards. And uh, you can speed up the reading. You can skip ahead, whatever you like to do. So let's get three of these. So this is the numerology. So this is the moonology. So let's get three messages for Aquarius. What do they need to know at this time? Spirit, please, one more. For Aquarius, please, what they need to know at this time. For Aquarius, thank you so much. Right, take that one. All right, so now we have the soul's journey. So I'll be pulling three of these for you, Aquarius. And the tarot I'm using there is the Tarot de la Nui. And the prayer cards, uh, I got those at the Dollar Tree actually and I thought they were cute and there were two packs and I said oh buy two mix them together and I have a new deck of cards so let's see here for Aquarius what does Aquarius need to know at this time spirit please messages for Aquarius one more one more thank you I could feel a flyer wanted to come out all right Let's see what we have for you, Aquarius. We have 78 here, spiritual career, which is 78 is uh, 15, which is six, which is about healing, balance, peace, harmony kind of energy. So some of you may be thinking about a spiritual career, career in some way, shape, or form. Um, so spirits bringing that through for you, if you've been thinking about that, could bring you a lot of healing, balance energy. You could also have the energy to help heal others also because, you know, that 8 and 7 is 15, 6. 6 to me is about healing and balance. 99 here, compassion. So 99 here is 9. Um, 9s are about almost coming to a completion of something. But if you add this together, 18, which <laughs> equals 9. So something may be coming to an ending uh, for you. doesn't have to be. Um, Nine can mean other things. You could also look up the angel number 99 if you wanted to. So you could be uh, somebody who has a lot of compassion. And maybe that's why you have this um, spiritual energy coming through. 
or spirit wants you to know maybe it's time to have a little more compassion in your life and towards you know people places and things also so let's see what we have here we have moderation which is 14 which is five five is about challenge and change so and this has been coming out a lot in the readings. So you may need to moderate something here in your life. Uh, it could be anything that you feel like you're doing too much of or not enough of. There's a need to uh, balance and moderate those energies. All things in moderation. So however that applies to you. If you know you need to change something but it's a challenge. Or quit something but it's a challenge. Or maybe just do less of something. Wh whatever it is for you. Spirit really wants you to try to moderate either your activities or your energies or something here. I'm going to clarify with the tarot after I reveal all these. So now we have, it's time to take action, new moon in Aries. So an Aries could mean something to you or the season of Aries, which is the end of March into April. But it's telling you here, it's time to take action. For some of you, it could be into the spiritual career. Or it's time to take action here to moderate something in your life or things in your life in some way, shape, or form. Because the Aries is, um, in the tarot, the emperor, which is a boss, a leader, takes charge, takes control of the situation, of things. And now we have here, meditate and contemplate, new moon in Pisces. So Pisces may mean something to you or the season of Pisces which is the end of February into March. So now, so far, we have two seasons back-to-back. -back. We have Pisces and um, Aries. Pisces ends the Zodiac's um, calendar and then Aries. So so we're going from the end of March to mid-April. No, the end of February to mid-April. So at that time frame means anything to you but we got two new energies here so this could be something new and we have full moon in Scorpio it's time to release negative energy so now we have three uh, energies coming out Scorpio Scorpio could be a Scorpio around you some way shape or form or you could have some of these signs in your chart uh, Scorpio season is the end of September into October if that Time frame means anything to you, but it's time to release some negativity, uh, whatever that is for you, because the full moon, full moon is about a completion of something. So if there's something that's in the past or um, it's just completed for you, but there's negative energies surrounding that, it's time to release it and let it go. So let's see what your messages are here. Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. And I feel a sneeze coming on. Oh, okay. So if you are imagining what it would be like to have this spiritual career, and it may not even be a spiritual career. I mean, you could be somebody who is spiritual, um, who has a lot of foresight, who has a lot of intuition, higher knowing, or spiritually connected. But it could also be um, maybe also a new career. You know, maybe, maybe it's your inner knowing and intuition telling you maybe it's time to change career because that also could be your intuition with the imagination. Maybe you think you're imagining, you know, these thoughts I'm having in my head or something like that. But it could be, you know, just your intuition, your higher knowing or spirit trying to tell you uh, it's time here maybe for a change. However, that resonates for you. But whatever you're imaginating here, creating, because we have create creative and spiritual career. So if those two things mean something to you together, then I think you need to start focusing on that. And we have here adversity. I accept the challenges are the best way to learn. So you could feel, you know, different from everybody else. Um, or maybe you've just gone through a lot, uh, been through a lot, been through a lot of challenges, or something could be a challenge now. Especially if you're thinking about changing careers or something like that. Like we have over here. But these challenges are the best way to learn to just be yourself. Be who you truly are. Do what you want to do here. And just, you know, being that energy of showing compassion and asking. Not like verbally asking, but, you know, 
energetically asking for compassion from others and you may be surprised that people may have a different energy than what you perceive they may have um once you you know vocalize okay this is what i want to do this is where i want to go and you may have a very different attitude than what you think you may get so keep that in mind also you may just be imagining like a lot of things in your head and actually it's just your like your ego and your thoughts just tripping you out so don't get get too caught up in that humor i choose to focus on the lighter side of life so yeah it's here don't think don't take things so seriously um you know release negativity and just let it go focus on the good things and the lighter side of life you know having a good sense of humor um being happy and joyous kind of energy all right so let's see or maybe you need to you know read read some comedy books watch some comedy movies you know sitcoms i don't know something here to kind of brighten you up a little bit if you're feeling a little bit down all right so i don't know watch some comedians you know <laughs> or something here to kind of cheer you up if you're feeling down for some of you all right, spiritual career. Let's clarify these energies for you, Aquarius. What is this spiritual career about for Aquarius spirit, please? Thank you so much. For Aquarius. Oh, we got two. So we have the two of swords and the king of cups. So the king of cups is an energy king or queen. Doesn't matter here. It is water, but that's okay. It's just clarifying here that the King of Cups is somebody who's very intuitive, who's very spiritual. They're a healer. They're loving. They're compassionate. You've got compassionate right there. They're nurturing, caring, giving. So there's that spiritual, intuitive energy coming with the King of Cups, but you're indecisive with the Two of Swords, maybe about a spiritual career or going down a certain spiritual path in some way, shape, or form. So two of swords, like you're blocking your heart, you're blocking, you know, blocking things out there, but you do have that energy. And we even get the moon here, clarifying more, more uh, spiritual, intuitive energy. So let's see if we get one more for that spiritual career. So, career. so we do see some of you could be spiritual, intuitive, but indecisive about that for some reason. The Hierophant, again, spirituality, faith, uh, morals, value, high, high energy here of the Hierophant, while well, divinely connected. To be committed, it's also about commit, committing, so committing to your journey here, whatever it is for you. You're indecisive, but you do have the energy here, and it's telling you to be committed to your journey. All right, so let's see... So we do for compassion. We did have uh, the page of wands that just flew out. So this is good news coming in or news going out. It's exciting, passionate, um, good news. So whatever here you're communicating uh, with people or something's coming in, um, it's coming from a good place. It's good news. So if you're waiting on good news um, or something like that, somebody may be showing you uh, compassion or wanting to help you out or seeing eye to eye or you know seeing at your level understanding where you're coming from so this could be just having a conversation with a friend you know a family member or something like that where you know you're seeing eye to eye and you're communicating and understanding each other or a situation and i feel like it's in a good energy so however that means for you or if you know you need to you know send news to somebody or are you waiting on news coming in, like I said, um, being in that compassionate energy, which I feel like will be in a good energy. So, all right. So what is this moderation about for you, Aquarius? What is this moderation about for Aquarius? So we got the emperor and we got the eight of wands. So the emperor here is somebody who takes lead, like I said, takes the lead, control, charge. Because we did have uh, Aries here. Take action. This is someone who takes action. They are a leader. T they take control of a situation. Or they could be a boss, a business owner. Eight of Wands, again, is about taking action. So we have that coming up again here. 
So Eight of Wands is about travel, action, communication, fiery, passionate energy. A lot of fiery, passionate energy there. So I'm feeling like, because the green there with the moderation does remind me of like the earth energy of being pro, uh, practical, smart, analytical, maybe slowing down a little bit. So maybe uh, you're moving forward like really fast at something here, like full speed ahead, like full throttle ahead. And I think you need to moderate your energy, like um, stabilize it, ground yourself um, and balance it out and uh, moderate yourself. So that's what I'm getting with that. Maybe burning your uh, candle at both ends, <laughs> burning yourself out to so be careful. All right. So what is this? It's time to take action though. So it is telling you, you know, whatever you're doing here, moving forward in is the right direction, but you need to moderate your energy. So it's time to take action. Nine of Pentacles. Some of you could be coming single. But this Nine of Pentacles is somebody who is very secure, stable, grounded. They're independent, can take care of themselves. They have everything they need. So if you're um, in an energy here of becoming single or wanting to become single for some of you, that may not be for everybody, it's time to take action on that. could be involving an Aries or uh, it's just that energy of Aries or maybe something happened over this past Aries season. Um end of March into April because that is a single energy. So, all right. So, and that will lead to your stability. All right. So are you, if it's not that some of you just need to take action on something here so you can be in this nine of pentacles energy where you're stable, you're grounded, you can take care of yourself. You have everything you need. You don't have to worry. Very stable and abundant energy. All right, so what is this meditate and contemplate? New moon, Pisces about, meditate and contemplate. What are we meditating and contemplating about? So we have judgment and the eight of pentacles. So it could be something about, uh, for some of you, uh, a job opportunity where you may have to work hard here to prove yourself or learn something new, master uh, a craft with the eight of pentacles energy. But we have judgment here, which is about, you know, a judgment call, final decision. So some of you may really need to think about a job opportunity here. Or do you still want to keep working at the same job that you're at for some of you? So that could correlate over here with the spiritual career. If you're working at a job now where, you know, just do the same thing day in, day out, the eight of pentacles. And you're like, you know what, I'm thinking like. This is not fitting for me anymore. It's no longer serving me. And maybe you're thinking about going down a new path. And it could be a spiritual career or some sort of other career. And just listen to your intuition here. And that is about making a judgment call. But you need to meditate and contemplate. So this could be something that happened, like I said, over the Pisces season. Or something uh, about the next Pisces season. Or Pisces, however that resonates for you. Okay. So... What is this? It's time to release negativity about the lovers. So it could have to do with a soulmate here, uh, a love partner or a relationship or something like that. But this is a soulmate. So if you're in a partnership now and there's some negative energy, maybe you had a fight or, you know, there's some toxic energy. And this is a soulmate here. So let's see. Let's get one more. It could be a Scorpio or maybe something happened, like I said, over the Scorpio season, which would be the end of end of October to November. Did I say it wrong before? If I did, I'm sorry. It's the end of October to November. So what else here? The nine of ones. So this is not give up. Don't give up. Don't give up on a soulmate here. It's time to release. Nine of Wands is about perseverance. It's about not giving up. It's about continuing to fight on here. So it's telling you to fight for the soulmate, not to give up. And to release any negative energy surrounding uh, this person. And it could be a friend, a family member, a lover. It could be anybody here. 
but usually the lover does indicate, you know, a soulmate or um, a partner relationship. So what is this imagination? I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind about for Aquarius justice. I feel like this is truth, clarity, and balance. In getting justice, serving justice, feeling like things are justified, you're justified, your life is justified. So I feel like for some of you that are not embracing your imagination and what you know you want to create or want to do or move forward in, um, your life's not going to feel justified. So it's time to embrace that energy that makes sense for anybody so we have adversity here I accept the challenges I accept that challenges are the best way to learn so what is that about what is the adversity about nine of swords yeah stress very fair worry and anxiety staying up at night maybe low self-esteem um, negative thinking wow that's way too much could be about taking a new leap of faith here, a fresh start on something here, and it could have to do with a new career or spiritual path that you feel is different or a challenge. And Spirit says, you know, this new start is here for you if you choose to jump in and take this leap of faith, but it's time to accept what it is and um, not be so much in that energy of the nine of swords of having maybe you know low self-esteem esteem self-doubt fear worry stress sleepless nights so humor i choose to focus on the lighter side of life for aquarius so we have the seven and eight of swords wow so a lot of mental activity here seven of swords can be an energy of Seven and eight, back to back. Wow. So the seven can be an energy of, you know, maybe someone's deceitful around you or self-deceit um, or maybe just, you know, getting, sneaking out of a situation or from a person or something here because you just have to get away. But again, the eight of swords is about mental entrapment of your own doing, um, stuck in your head. I feel like you're stuck in your head about moving on or just needing to get out of something. And it's telling you here not to be so much in that mental energy, to kind of just go with the flow, uh, see the lighter side of things, um, and be more in a higher vibration. And we have here the five of swords. Wow, Aquarius. So again, this is an energy of ego one-upping energy um i feel like it's like your ego holding you back you know out of again thinking you can't do it or maybe i should just give up i can't do this um instead of fighting for it so it's like ego tripping here with the five of swords kind of energy is this a losing battle is this going to be it's kind of unfair kind of energy so yeah five of swords so let's see what's under that Nine of Cups. So whatever here, you can have wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy in every single way with the Nine of Cups energy. If you can get out of all this mental activity for some of you, and you are Aquarius, you are an air sign, and we have a lot of air here. So let's get a closing prayer. A closing prayer for you, Aquarius. What is the closing prayer for Aquarius, please? Thank you so much. What do they need to know right now? Closing prayer for Aquarius. That one. Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. So this is about spirit. Uh, it could be passed over loved ones. It could be, you know, your spirit team. It's the universe. It's God. It's whoever here telling you. And that's your higher knowing and your intuition and maybe being uh, connected to your spirit team here saying they will never leave you and they will never forsake you here. So they want you to know that, to trust, to trust in that and trust in you and your spiritual um, endeavor here, whatever it is for you. 
Okay, Aquarius, uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.